Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's always good to be back with you with something new. Uh, not exactly new, but then uh, I think you will like it. I hope you like it. So before proceeding further, let me welcome you to Eloquent English Enterprise. Uh, it's uh, a bigger welcome to my new subscribers who have joined in the last one week. Thank you so much for being with me. And uh, today I've come with a few terms, which I'm sure you all know. But uh, there's no harm in revising, right? So today's terms, I'll be just sharing my screen with you. Okay. Like, of course, it's welcome to Eloquent English Enterprise, my channel. And uh, so today, what do we have with us? Uh, let's see what it is. So here are a few terms which are related to gardening. All right, we are all fond of having gardens and flowers uh, at home. If we do not have our own separate bungalow, we have flats or apartments. Uh, but lots of us are very, very fond of having greenery around us. So if you don't have a terrace garden, you can always have some potted plants in your balcony, near your uh, door, wherever. So a few terms which are related to gardening let's explore what all are these so the first term coming up is dig and sow uh, we know that whenever we have to plant any plant or seedling or a seed now we have to dig so what is digging digging is basically turning over the soil to make it loose so that uh, oxygen or the air can move in and help the seeds to germinate so turning over of soil is digging and sowing is putting the seed there. I mean, this one is definitely a very new technique to make holes with your heels. Uh, that's a new way. But otherwise, uh, if we think of the traditional way, we do, uh, I mean, our farmers used to do tilling, right? Now, once we've uh, dug up the soil, we've made it loose and then uh, we have put some seeds there, we've sown seeds there, we have to fertilize the land to give it extra nutrition. Just as we need food, even seeds and plants need food to grow. So fertilizers are added to add nutrients to the soil. And then we have to water our plants because water is necessary for all kinds of life, whether it's we, uh, other living creatures, or plants because plants also are living entities so we have to water them we pour water on them uh, very softly it shouldn't be like a jet or something otherwise uh, it may be harmful so pouring water gently over the plants next it's weeding all right weeding is what to remove unwanted plants from a garden all right so that is weeding here is the picture this lady is trying to remove the weeds from there. She's putting them in a, a little bucket. And here her dog is also there. He's trying to help her by digging another little place of uh, her plot. All right. Then we have pruning, which is done. Pruning is basically to cut back branches or stems of plants to maybe give it shape or to help it in its growth. There are lots of plants and trees which grow when they are regularly pruned. So pruning is basically cutting off of extra branches or leaves from the stems or the, uh, the tree itself. Then we know there is something which is, known as, which is known as mowing. Mowing is to cut grass with the lawn mower. Okay, it's not done with hands. Lawn mower is a machine we all know. So it is pushed generally by hand and the grass gets Cut. It is very neatly, like it's, you know, it's kind of uh, manicuring your grass. So uh, it, it makes your lawn better because then it gives a very even kind of uh, height to your grass, the, the, the grass of your lawn. Then we have a rake. We do raking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I moved it a little early. So to gather leaves or debris with a rake. You see, it's a comb-like uh, thing, a gadget, and we remove 
the unwanted leaves or grass or weeds or whatever with a rake and we keep our garden clean. So this is raking and the gadget used is a rake. Then cultivation. Uh, we generally uh, associate cultivation to uh, a very, you know, uh, a huge kind of land where lots and lots of grains, etc. are grown. No, cultivation can be anywhere. So when we prepare land for planting, that also is cultivation. That is removing all the extra things and growth which may be there, which may prove detrimental to the growth of our plants. So this is cultivation in general. The next term is tilling. Tilling is when we used to, like earlier, we used to have those oxen which uh, would till the land. But today we have machines which make these, you know, rows and uh, furrows uh, where seeds are to be planted. So this process is tilling. And then we come to transplant, which is like replanting uh, uh, seedlings uh, into another place for them to grow better. So here you can see a rice field. This is also transplanting or moving uh, smaller plants or the seedlings of rice. Uh, of course, there's no water here, but then they are generally uh, transplanted into a field or in a field where there's lots of stagnant water. So this is transplant. Now we come to composting. Composting, again, to make manure, so here we generally use organic matter. We, we store it in a kind of a pit where it decomposes and then uh, it turns into a nutrient-rich soil amendment. It becomes uh, a thing which when put into our fields or in our flower beds, it helps the plants to grow. So it is decomposed organic matter. All dry leaves, cow dung, uh, your kitchen waste, which is green, you know, vegetable waste. So all these are put together for around six months in a pit and uh, all of these they decompose to form something which is very useful for plants. The next one is propagation. We have to propagate plants in different ways by cutting seeds etc. Uh, I remember there is grafting, there is budding which is done especially for uh, flowers like roses. So uh, grafting is putting two branches together, like they are cut diagonally and then they are made to, uh, they, they are tied together and then put into soil. So if it's a pink and red flower which are put together, the ultimate uh, flower which comes is pink in color. So both colors get mixed up. So that is grafting. Budding is to remove a bit of a bud from one stem and it is put into the uh, node. Uh, there's a cut which is made on the node. You must have seen like um, when we have uh, sugar cane, there are some rings. So those are nodes and the, the, the space in between is the internode. So on the node of, uh, of any plant which has nodes, uh, a little cut is made and this bud from another plant is put in and then it is tied securely. So you get a mix of these two plants. So these are different ways of propagation. So these were a few terms which were related to gardening and growing the plants and uh, uh, trees. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a very good hobby. And if you do it, it's going to be beneficial, not just for your environment, but it is, it's, it's a very, very good hobby, which makes you feel great. But I won't end the uh, video without doing something which is my favorite. And this is, you know, uh, bringing out differences between uh, very two similar sounding words. So first is differ and defer. What's the difference? Differ is to have a difference. Like this book differs from that one in this way. Or um, uh, a particular dance differs from another kind of dance in a particular manner. So that brings out the difference between any two things. Defer is to let something wait. Let's defer this class to another day. Postpone. So defer is to postpone. Here, this one, there's, a, uh, there's an error in the spelling. Usually people uh, write the first word with a double F. That's wrong. It's not prefer, prefer. 
It's preferred. See the difference in pronunciation? It's not preferred, it's preferred. So double R is the correct one. Double F is wrong. Again, vacuum. Lots of people, uh, they do not spell it correctly. The first one is wrong. It's not vacuum, it's vacuum. So U has to be stretched a little. So the first one, if I have to pronounce, it's going to be vacuum. It's not vacuum. Vacuum is the usage of double U. We use vacuum cleaners, the second word. Dairy and diary. <laughs> Lots of people, like when I say, give me your diary, I see the spelling written, the name of the person, and it's D-A-I-R-Y. No, D-A-I-R-Y is a dairy where you get milk products. But a book or a booklet where you write something is a diary. Even the pronunciation is different. Dairy and diary. Dairy, milk products. Diary, a notebook where you write. So thank you uh, for watching Eloquent English and Enterprise. Um, it was fun to be here. And I'll be back soon with uh, something uh, maybe again related to terms and some confusing words where, uh, uh, you know, we do get confused very often. So uh, for today, that was all. See you soon. Have a good day tomorrow. Good night. Take care and God bless.